Greetings, New Mount Olives Baptist Church family members and friends. Greetings to my pastor, Pastor Lavina Johnson Smith. My name is Audrey, Minister Audrey Alexandre from the New Mount Olives Baptist Church. Just wanted to come before you with a brief word of encouragement. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. I wanted to come to you from Proverbs 12 and 25. Heaviness in the heart of a man make it stoop, but a good word make it glad. My encouragement word this week would be a good word. There are many situations that arise in our lives, some expected, but some mostly unexpected. Lots of times there are situations that will linger upon us that will weigh us down, cause us to have doubt, cause us to have fears. These situations may stem from just being brokenhearted, mistreated, loss of loved ones, loss of income, unforgiveness, sick and tired of being sick and tired, and the list goes on and on. A good word comes from Psalm 24, and 19. Many are the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him of them all. But the Lord delivers them of them all. But God. So no matter what your situation is or how you may feel, just know, but God. They say he will deliver you from a portion of it a third of it, a quarter of it. It said he would deliver you from them all. A good word brings understanding to us and acknowledges that if God said it, it is going to come to pass. Understanding that you won't always feel like this. This is just a test that one day will be a testimony. You will overcome your stress, your anxiety, your restless night, your fears, fears of being alone, fears of being abandoned. A good word comes from Deuteronomy 31 and 8. And the Lord, he it is that do goeth before thee. He will be with thee. He will not fail thee. Neither forsake thee, fear not, or be dismayed. See, your situation is not a situation that took God by surprise. He already equipped you and built you for the test that you are currently in. Keep the faith in knowing that your outcome will be victorious. A good word reminds us from Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Now faith. That now faith is the faith that's going to get you through the situation that you are currently in. That now faith is going to keep you while you're going through the process of the situation that you're in. That now faith is going to remind you that God is going to deliver you from your situation. That now faith will allow you to praise him while you're in the situation. That now faith will allow you to trust him while you're in the situation. That now faith will allow you to get up when you fall down. That now faith will allow you to keep smiling, pushing forward for the higher mark, mark which is in Christ Jesus. You might ask, well, how do I handle it? How do I keep going? How do I trust? How do I know that it's going to work out for my good? I'm here to tell you that if God said it, he is going to do it. The good, the good book reminds us from Genesis to Revelation of all the things that God has done. Just knowing that if he did it before, he can do it again. 
He has healed. He has delivered. He has set free. He has rescued. He's worked miracles. Trust in the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11, a good word reminds us. They said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. The expected end is that you will be victorious. The expected end is this too shall come to pass. The expected end is you will win. I'm encouraging you to remember God loves you and he cares for you. A good word comes from Isaiah 43 and 18. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Verse 19 tells us, behold, I will do a new thing now and it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? You will know it because all things come, all good things come from the Lord. He is working it out. He sees your struggles. He sees your pain. Don't worry about what anyone has to say about the situation that you're in. Yes, you're currently under construction and you will not look like what you have been through. You are just a test that one day will be a testimony for someone to know that God's grace is sufficient. Not for some, but for all. So let not your heart be troubled and weighed down, stressed out, and feeling anxious. You are a work in progress. And the finishes will be like no other. You will come through the fire and not get burnt. You will not even smell like smoke. You will come out as pure gold. A good word comes from 1 Peter 5 and 7. It says, cast all your cares upon him, for he careth for you. Saints, give it all to God. Not a portion of it. Not a third of it. Not an ounce of it. Give all your cares unto him. Why? It says, because he cares about you. Even when others don't know that God cares, he will never leave you nor forsake you. It's time to take a good word and know that it comes from God. I encourage you to push forward, stay the course. He's working it out. Be blessed.